Hello everyone, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing the All Saints Wake event quest. I'm actually really excited for it because I have, as you can see, I use these horns. And the reward for this is a new pair of horns. So I'm super excited for it. So let's get started. The Aether Starved Araman. The pumpkin-headed apparition is on the lookout for an able adventurer. Okay. Hee hee, it's been more than a few moons since last we met, friend. As it so happens, I have a proposition suited to your talents. Are you prepared to throw caution to the wind and consort with friends most foul once again? Of course you are, but before we get to the heart of the matter, let us reflect upon the history of All Saints Wake. On this night, Dufel fiends emerged to cavort and careen, unconcerned with the judgments of those on high, for the halls of the saints' heavenly abode ring with the merriment as the wine flows freely, and no one can be bothered to look down. <clears throat> Thus did God, God's fearing folk, greet this particular sunset with trepidation, daring not to venture from their homes. No longer, nay, for adventurers come and drove out the void set, restoring safety to the city streets and marking the occasion as one of jubilation. That's all well and good, but what of the poor forsaken fiends? Are they too not deserving of revelry? My wish is to see all saints wake reborn as a celebration for all, be they ghost, ghoul, gradanian, or otherwise. And how do I propose to accomplish this feat? Binding obligations, friend. I've convinced the more sinister sorts to enter into contracts which forbid them from preying on mortals. In exchange, they are permitted to partake in the festivities. But there's one troubled soul who still seems incapable of getting into the spirit of things. Perhaps you'd be willing to give them a helping hand. Nothing too devilishly difficult, I promise. Before you get started, you want to get a grasp of the particulars by speaking with Papa Gruff. He ought to be performing one of his shows by the entrance to the Great Loam Growery. Now go. I shall be watching your performance with great interest. Alright. So we go to... We get to go see Papa Gruff, who's a regular during these events. He's... He's been in every single All Saints Wake event since before I can even remember. Papa Gruff and his family. Hey, look who it is. Papa Gruff. Although it pains me so, our humble performance must draw to a close. Let us then end things on a high note, ladies and gentlemen. I bid you feast your eyes on the fantastic Philocox and his transformation magics. His hair, his hair color changed. What was that all about? The clowning and whatnot was a right laugh, but that last bit was bleeding rubbish. Come on, let's get out of here. Or Papa Gruff. Oh, there we go. Once more, you fail to muster up even an ons of magical prowess. I put the crowd in the palm of my hand. We'd have been the toast of the town if not for your blunder. There you go again, shrieking the same old tune. I've had it up to my eyeball with this farce. Just because you know a cheap trick doesn't give you the right to treat me like that. Aww. I can't stand the sight of you, let alone the thought of taking to the stage with you again. Good riddance. Well, well. Fate has conspired for us to cross paths once again. Out with it, then. I know you're not here to swap pleasantries. A foul fiend failing to get into the spirit of All Saints Wake? I'd wager you speak of Philcox, the fellow who stormed off in a huff. Like most of our ilk, Philcox and I have an insatiable appetite for Aether. But unlike your garden variety void scent who hunt hapless mortals like beasts, we prefer to sate our hunger with their enthusiastic approval. I tell you, there's no aether as delectable as you'll find in a food gifted in genuine appreciation, which set me to thinking. Perhaps preying on mortals was an old-fashioned and misguided approach. Thus did I commit to giving folk the sort of frights and dazzle and delight 
winning hearts and minds, and in the process, no small number of aether-laden delicacies. And what better occasion for such terrifying amusements as All Saints Wake? The method is catching, too. Many Voinsent now seek aether in this manner. Vilcox is one such reformed individual. When I first laid eyes upon him, I sensed promise. Look at him in front of a crowd, and you're lucky to get a smattering of half-hearted applause, let alone a few measly crumbs. You'd be better off hearing it from the Armin's mouth, though. He can't have gotten far. He could get far. He's got wings. He could he could fly anywhere. Alright, let's check out the map. Looks like he's to our south a little bit. Let's see if we can find him. Find this Aruman. Hello? Not down there. Maybe over here? Oh, there he is. Wilcox. That snivelling whelp of an imp. Magic's this, magic's that. The sheer unbridled cheek of it. Philcox is practically frothing at the mouth. So incensed is he by his treatment at the hands of Papa Gruff, you must soothe him before attempting to start a conversation. Alrighty then. Let's soothe him. Apologies. I had taken leave of my senses. Your timely intervention is much appreciated. Wait. By the look of you, I'd say you're an adventurer. Let me guess. That pumpkin-headed lady sent you to check up on me, did she? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you my tale. Try as I might, I just can't get the hang of transformation magics, and without the seams to delight the crowds, sorry, without the means to delight the crowds, we're starved for appreciation. I'm an Aura man, paralyzing prey with a big eye of mine? Not a problem. Turning them to stone with a petrifying glare? A trifling task. Hells, I can even smell despair and all manner of negative emotions in the people around me. Obviously, paralysis and petrification won't win over an audience, and my metaphorical nose for despair isn't going to put Aether on the table either. I ought to just tell that pumpkin-headed lady I'm not cut out for this business. If you're here at her behest, you'd better come too. So he's gonna quit. He's gonna quit. He's not gonna do it. Let's go see. So we're heading back to the the original quest giver, it looks like. The pumpkin headed lady. Bum 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 bum. There we go. I gathered you had a hand in Philcock's decision to lay bare his thoughts and feelings. Not that it did any good. I'm stuck at square one, underappreciated and underfed. He he he! Such a curious child. Are you truly so blind to your own potential? No doubt. You have an inkling as to what I speak of. Pray share your wisdom with Philcox. My wisdom. Uh, let's see. You can smell dark emotions, use your gift to help those in need, or stamp out any negativity and sense within the common folk. I'm going to do the first one. Hmm, well, you'd be hard-pressed to find a void scent who suggests that. I don't see how helping others helps me, but then again, I know little of moral ways, so perhaps I should heed your advice. Ah, wait, I see the logic in it now. What better way to make use of my talents and knock that pompous Papa Gruff right off his pedestal. No, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. I have no idea where to start. Hee hee hee, perhaps I can lend a hand with a little sleight of hand. Hold still. Whoa. Not only is that get-up guaranteed to turn heads, each and every thread is imbued with a potent magic to aid in your newfound purpose. Oh ho, you know, I think I can feel it. May have to, maybe this isn't going to be so tough after all. There you are. Hmm, you know, I had thought to apologize for my harsh words earlier, since our act was my initi initiative and therefore our, su our success, or lack thereof, was ultimately my responsibility, but I sense that you've been scheming. 
It pleases me to inform you, Papa Gruff, that I found a way to win over mortals on my own terms. I find that hard to believe, but since you seem so confident, why don't we have ourselves a contest? Whoever garners the most affection, and thereby the largest share of Aether-rich victuals, wins. And to the victor go the spoils of subservience. The loser will be bound to obey their every whim. How does that sound? You're on. I hope you're ready to bow and scrape. Hmm, that mortal epithet about one's bark being worse than one's bite comes to mind. Prepare yourself, Philcox. I know I've got this marvelous magic outfit, but I'm still not entirely convinced I have what it takes to beat Papagraph on my own. Come with me, just until I get the hang of things. That's all I ask. Okie dokie. Very well, I shall leave Philcox in your capable hands. Alright. Complete this one. So we should get a second quest here. Yep, from Philcox himself. How about we try and find a troubled soul in need of aid? Ah, but let's get out of here first. All right, where are we heading? Over this way, to the left. Right, time to look for folk harboring negative feelings. Give me a moment. I don't know if it has anything to do with that pumpkin-headed lady's enchantment, but my powers feel more potent than ever. I've already found someone, and whoever they are, they're awfully flustered. They're not there to the northeast, I think, though I'm not sure where exactly. The roads here can be confusing. Truth be told, this is my first time in the city. I've got a decent sense of direction, but I've yet to grasp the lay of the land. Can I trouble you to lead the way? Uh, well, our flustered target is northeast of here. I'll be right behind you. Philcox is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave him, blah blah blah. I know all that stuff. Alright, so it looks like we're heading over here. Is there only one place we're going? Looks like it. Or maybe two. So I can talk to him there, and then that's the quest objective. Alright, Philcox, let's go. So we'll see what he has to say here. Discuss the delighted woman. Ah, such glee. They mentioned a clown. I'd wager they've just had the er, privilege of seeing one of Papa Gruff's performances. Listen, I'll be the first to admit that he's an expert illusionist, and you've only got to look at folk like these ladies to see that he knows how to work a crowd. I won't be upstage. I'll prove there's more than one way to win over an audience, by following your timely advice, that is. Given the delight written on their faces, our opponent must be earned himself some sustenance. Must have earned himself some sustenance, which means we've no time to lose. Onward. Alright, onward we go. Some nice pumpkin decorations, I like those. There we go, we got a flustered fellow. Oh gods, where has she gotten to? Ah, this must be the fellow my senses were leading me to. Shall we find out what ails him? You there, what's gotten you so worked up? Oh, forgive me, there was this poor little girl who'd been separated from her mother. I was helping her to look, but she suddenly disappeared. I can't simply abandon her, but then again, I have an urgent personal matter to attend to, and I don't know what to do. In that case, why don't I and my associate look for the girl? Then you can see to your affairs without worry. Thank you, thank you. She's a young lass dressed in blue. I hope you're able to find her forthwith. Alright, looks like we're looking for a little girl. 
Hmm, he certainly was appreciative, yet here I am, empty-handed. Ah, uh, forget the food. We have a lost child to find. I am detecting a despairing presence to the east of here. Od odds are it's the girl, which means I have need of your navigational nows once again. After you. Alright, looks so like we're heading to the east here, down near the um, Lancer's Guild. Jump over a pumpkin. Wait. Oh, there's Papa Gruff. And the girl in blue. I thought this would be a fine opportunity to accrue some appreciation. But the poor girl is beside herself. She keeps calling out for her mama. Might I enlist your help? This might be the last lass we've been looking for. If you want to earn her thanks, we'll need to reunite her with her mother, wouldn't you say? Which means we now have a lady to locate. Any suggestions? Hmm. We could use their senses. We could try coming up with an... Oh, well, that's rude. Or three dots. We'll use the top one here. Ah, so you're saying that the mother will be worried about her daughter having gone missing. Brilliant. This is exactly why I had you accompany me. Right then. Founder, I don't know which is the bigger boon, having you by my side or this fancy finery. I think I've learned my way around the city, more or less. I'll handle this next part on my own. Wait here, I'll be back with the girl's mother in no time. Time. I'm gonna have to go find him, aren't I? Oh, no, he made it. Twelve, be praised, you're safe. You have my eternal gratitude. Thanks for finding Mama, mister. And off they go. Do you believe me now, Papa Gruff? Sweet, sweet appreciation and all courtesy of my special talent. I can't help but notice they didn't offer you anything edible by way of thanks. For my part, I've already been rewarded with a tasty morsel. That said, the gift of food is far from guaranteed indeed. Perseverance is key which is why I find myself performing show after show. I suggest you approach this contest with the same tenacity, Phil Cox. I'm afraid he's right. Constant effort is key. Luckily, I sensed another troubled soul while I was tracking down the girl's mother. I better see what I can do to help. You know, I think I am ready to go it alone now. Why don't you let your pumpkin-headed benefactor know? I'll come and find you when I'm done. Well, I'm afraid my next performance calls. Until we meet again, adventurer. Alright, cool. So now we're going to go back to the pumpkin-headed lady. We turn in our quest. Looks like I could probably take this Aethernet. The adventurer returns, and at the precise moment I predicted. I do hope keeping Phil Cox company wasn't too taxing. What of your fiend and his endeavors?
You have my thanks, truly. Ah, speak of the devils, here they come. Dear oh dear, that turned out to be a damn sight harder than I'd anticipated, and all I have to show for my travails is a single cookie. To think the first gift I'd received would prove to be the last. Curses, I didn't receive so much as a crumb. I suppose this means you win. Sigh. Very well. I am yours to command, Papa Gruff. Hehe, <laughs> you admit defeat far too readily, Vilcox. Hooray, we found you. I wanted to thank you properly for helping me and Mama. I brought you a pumpkin cookie. Oh, that's nice. Simply scrumptious. Oh, he likes it. Maybe a little too much. Hehe, <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Farewell. That makes it one apiece. A draw, then. Still, Philcox, while you've had some assistance along the way, you've nevertheless done yourself proud. To think I'd live to see the day Papa Gruff sings my praises. Awfully kind of you to finally admit that I might have worth. Hmm, is that all you desire? My begrudging acceptance? Have you forgotten your reasons for joining in the festivities in the first place? Oh, of course I haven't. The good people of Gridania are still in need of my help. And where there are common folk in need, there are cookies to be freed, and er, given to me. Adventure, I had better get going, but before I do, let me say this. I might have found a way to make the most of my talents, but I wouldn't have been able to do so without you and the pumpkin-headed lady. I'm sure we'll run into each other once again one of these days. Till then. The promise I sensed in Philcox when he and I first met wasn't illusory after all. I should take my leave to, it would be remiss of me to allow him to garner all the glory, to say nothing of the cookies. Hee <laughs> hee, I'd say those two fiends ended up having themselves a frightfully fun-filled All Saints Wake, wouldn't you agree? And for your part in this, a fitting reward, I present to you a set of finery, as worn by Gridania's most emotionally perceptive armen. Ah, perhaps you wonder if your outfit is endowed with the same enchantment. You needn't worry, there never was an enchantment. Oh, interesting. Hee <laughs> hee, that little charade was my way of giving Philcox the confidence he so sorely lacked, although I dare say such a measure was unnecessary, given he had you to cheer him on. Ah, uh, but before I forget, you are hereby cordially invited to my humble abode for a get-together of sorts. <coughs> Do drop by, I assure you it will be frightfully entertaining. Anyway, your help is much appreciated. At this rate, my vision of All Saints Week for mortals and Voitsen alike might not be such a distant prospect, though I do hope that these shenanigans haven't dulled your enthusiasm for the most occult of occasions. Alright. Quest complete. You now have access to Sneaky Hollow. Speak with the unusual usher at Maketo's Amphitheater to be escorted to the costume party. Alright, looks like we got our achievement for doing the seasonal. There we go, complete the quest. All friends sated on All Saints Wake. One thing we have to make sure we do is double check the vendor. We got Magic Pumpkin Prism. I'm going to buy a bunch of those. And the Flying Pumpkin Tabletop item. I'm going to buy a couple of those. Alright. 
let's go ahead and check out the glam. Check out our, our reward. Oh, there we go. It's got little wings on the back. That's kind of cute. That concludes the All Saints Wake event for 2024. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.